Welcome. Today, we are going to find the distance between two points, and we're going to use this foldable to help us do so. One side looks like this. If you flip it over, the other way has these four example problems. Let's try the first one. We're going to try to find the distance between A and B. So again, we're trying to find the distance of that line right there from A to B. If you draw these little loops in, you're going to see in just a second, it'll help us keep track of our counting. So one, two, three, four, five, six. A is six units or six squares away from B. Now I strongly recommend that you use those little, let's call them loops for lack of a better word, or arrows to help us keep track of our counting because otherwise one mistake that you could do is some people go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they get one too many. You don't actually start counting until you physically move from one box to the next. So here's the incorrect way. One, two, three. That was incorrect because I started with one here. The correct way is one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, you don't actually say the word or you don't count one until you actually physically move from one box to the next. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that's all it's asking. A is six units away from B. Seems pretty simple and straightforward. So let's move on to example two. Okay, sometimes they can be asking you the vertical distance. So how far away is C from D? Well, let's do our same thing and count. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units away. So how far away is C from D? It is seven units and that's it. That's all it's asking. You try to find the distance from E to F really fast on your foldable or if you're following along on the screen. All right, let's see if you got it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. E is nine units away from F and that's all you would put as an answer is that it's nine units away. Our final example, in case you missed the last one, you have one more chance, G from H. Go ahead and try to count. And let's see if you got it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units away. If you got that G was nine units away from H, you have mastered this standard. You now know how to find the distance between two points on the coordinate plane. Congratulations.